Welcome back to Fun Media, and today we will have a look with Pinnacle Studio 24. This is a version ultimate. We will have a look at everything that's audio, music, and sound, and all of that. So, first of all, uh, if we do just a quick tour, um, of course, when you put a clip, so I'll already have a little clip right here. As you can see, everywhere there is more audio you will see those little line <laughs> see so we hear a little more and you see this little line so this is really really the basic so if you want to first of all modify those little line uh, all the way to modify tracks of course there's this button right here audio ducking so you can choose track right now working on track two so i would go choose track two and changing the ducking level or the threshold or stuff like that uh, this is not my favorite way to do it it could be good if you decide to uh, do this little button right here which is doing a voiceover that might be a little good for that and i'll do a voiceover a little bit later but to modify directly on your track this button right here audio mixer is really really good and simple so th this one see that the green line is moving this one will be your main sound all right so it'll be a bit louder <laughs> all right and you can put a very very a lot louder than that and put some keyframes this is your keyframe if you want to put a button here and a button here maybe all right so I, I put some keyframe see they're here right now so the good thing like they're laughing a little here so what let's say I have a sound or music right here and I don't want to hear them laughing too much you can just take your keyframe and modify it like that just that part all right maybe like here and here and this one I'd like to put it more like that all right and the good thing is with the keyframe see you can move it forward or backward all right there you go so this is really the basic of like audio editing so the sounds going down right here and we don't hear them too much and of course, if you want to mute it, just put it like full way down. And it's going to go to mute. There you go. If you're down like at the bottom, you're at mute. See, mute. It's showing you exactly where it is right here. If I get it advanced, see, I'm going to go up. And this is going to go up right here. Look. Yep. All the way back to normal. All right. So this is really, really use those little keyframe right here. Put whatever you want, where, where you want it. It's good for your video. It's good for your music. Uh, it's good for everything. All right. For all your tracks. So I can get rid of that one. And now let's say I'd like to have a bit of music. So of course you can import music. All right. Like I have one here. Or... With Pinnacle Studio, you have free to use no copyright music. Either you can go here, all right, it's Core Feather. You have 561 sound or short, they're kind of short music. They're not really, really long, but you can listen to them. See, this one is about 20 or 30 seconds. Some are a bit longer, some are a bit shorter. It's not really long music, but good thing is, is they're free to use. 30 seconds once again. And of course, if you want a, something really precise, I have one already here, like rock. That I'm looking for rock. So, nope. Or, of course... You can just drag and drop when you want it that's it and of course if you want more uh, you can go see on a YouTube uh, library they have free free to use music 
So just search on Google free uh, YouTube free music library and some are free, some are free to use with a little link. You're gonna have to put like a, they call it a paternity. So you just put a link uh, of their music where uh, you put your, your video description, but most of them are free to use. So yeah, this is Scorfeder is the drag and drop. I just delete it and of course you can also go score fitter right here create song so they're the same song that you've seen there but it's just another way to choose it so if you want an ambient music and you you're doing a drama so you have a couple of one and then preview if you don't like it just try one more preview and if you like it just go add to movie and there you go and of course you can move it forward and backward and just like you've seen before uh, you, you can go here and if you work on that track I all right you can like I can mute it I can put it louder I can change it with this button I can uh, go with the keyframe you can work on that song all right and if you want also just like that it's gonna give it a little entry like a fade in and at the end let's say I want to fade out just to give the song like a fade out kind of effect just go like what I did here if you don't want it just grab it back take it off and there you go and of course if you want a longer sound uh, I just got one right here which is a bit longer but once again it's not doing the entire video that I want but let's say you really like that sound all right that that, that music because you're thinking hey that fits my video but man it's I don't want to sh make my video shorter what I can do there's a really really easy way to do it all right so you select your track like I did here and what I'm gonna do I put my cursor right here and I'm gonna Split the sound, click on it, bring it all the way to the end. Maybe I'll go a little, little bit after, give it a little fade out. And then you bring your cursor like that, right? Bring it all the way to, to match this part to this part. And what you can do is have this cursor that you see right here just give it a little transition and it's gonna fit of course sometimes if it doesn't fit you can just adjust like that all right and let's see let's listen the result not too bad it was done quickly it's not too bad at all and let's say you're not exactly at the point that you want because this music is pretty like straightforward there is no big change at all but let's say you have a song that it's going like this like this like this and calm and like this like this like this then you could adjust with this cursor right here and just try to go exactly where you want the transition is going to follow and of course the transition can make it shorter or longer you know so this is really really the best way to do your audio mixing right here with uh, Pinnacle Studio for your sound and then I got it all the way to the end where I want it to end and where I want my music to start all right so we'll switch with the next topic which is still some audio I'll just delete that and you also have with Pinnacle Studio this little button right here sound effect so this is not for your music at all it's just for sound let's say you're doing a cartoon or any kind of movie actually you, you got tons of things you got some and so I'll just show you a couple you got animals right here some background bells so you, got, you got like tons and tons and tons of sound effects so let's just see a couple more just for fun. Um, cartoon, if you're doing a little movie with the kids. 
and you want to make them laugh so you just put some, some cartoon stuff electronic Of course, you can go in the search your current view, so just search here and search whatever thing you you need for your your video. So that, look at that. There's tons of them. So the good thing is if you just bought the uh, the software, just go through it and it, 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 it might give you some idea to, to do a video just by looking and listening at all the effect that they have. Ambient music with sports, uh, starships for Star Wars movie. So yeah, this is pretty much all the basic that you can do. Uh, you also have this voice recorder right here if you click on it see it has added a voiceover track and then if you decide to wreck it's gonna give you beep 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 tree sound so let's have a look and then it start recording exactly <laughs> right here where you want to put it and after that you can just drag and drop it if you want it more forward or backward when you're done you stop you want to keep it yes and there you go what we have recorded is right here and if you want it like louder or your voice to match a little more let's see how it looks just like that and then it start recording exactly right here so this is when you might use these the audio docking so i would just select voice over track because this is where my voiceover is and then ducking level maybe a little more of my voice a little more more threshold you know and just choose all the parameter that you want you click ok it's gonna adjust and that's it and then it start recording exactly so there, this this would be good for any kind of documentary movie that you're doing do you just build your entire movie and then at the end you find someone with a good voice and he's gonna do your voiceover yeah that's pretty much it with the audio you we, we've seen them all of course there's this thing right here this button for more sound but like you can see right here it says purchase this music so of course you have more choice all right this is a preview file for example use only so you can hear the music, but if you're listening well, they're saying this is a preview music. We heard it. We hear it maybe at all every thirty seconds or something like that. You can hear it at the beginning. This is a preview file. For example, use only. So what you're gonna have to do is click on a button. It's gonna bring you in the library, and you're gonna have to buy it. But at least. You, like I said, you got free sounds in the Scorefeder one, and you got free sound with uh, YouTube library. And of course, if you look online, you can find tons of cool video for your of cool song for your videos. So if you liked this video, please like it, subscribe for more stuff, and I'll be talking to you next time with Fun Media. See you guys.